the world needs more black pudding. Well, hello from Doha in Qatar, and today I'm taking a ride with Qatar Airways on board a Boeing 787 Dreamliner in their business class. It's not a Q-suite, they don't have them on the Dreamliner, so I'm looking forward to seeing just what Qatar Airways are like in their normal business class, and if it's any close match for the Q-suite. So let's head down to the gate and take a flight back to the UK with Qatar Airways. So we're going from the E-gates today here in Doha, which are this way. Right, slightly further than I thought. Um, the E-gates are right at the bottom of the pier. I haven't got long to make my flight, so we need to be quick. Good Lord, these E-gates are miles away. I think the plane's boarding already, I don't know. Less than an hour until departure, and they boarded pretty early here at Qatar, so. I don't think I've ever been to this end of Doha Airport before. But they've got a, um, their alternative, their equivalent to the bear back in the main bit. Pretty cool. My ride to Manchester today is this Boeing 787-8 Dreamliner delivered new to Qatar Airways in 2014, making her six years old. Thank you. Good morning, how are you? Thank you. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Qatar's non Q-suite Dreamliner is in a 1-2-1 configuration, which, although not the Q-suite, is still very comfortable indeed. So on board the Qatar Dreamliner heading back to Manchester. It's not a Q suite, but it's still a really nice seat. Um, I'll show you around the seat a little bit more later on in the video, but it's, um, it's pretty good. It's in a one two one config here. Not pretty comfortable, pretty private as well. Of course, the best thing about the Dreamliner is huge windows. Pretty soon everyone was on board and it was time to push back for the 7 hour flight back to the UK. Our route today then took us northwest out of Qatar to cross Iraq and into Turkey. We crossed the Black Sea before coasting into Romania and flying across Eastern Europe towards Germany. From there it was across the North Sea coasting in over Suffolk and making an approach into Manchester. Flight time today was 7 hours and 6 minutes, cruising at 40,000 feet. So then airborne out of Manchester on the Qatari Dreamliner and it's a relatively comfortable seat. It's the same one that they have uh, on their older A350s um, before they had the Q-suite fitted. It's a lovely business class seat. Let me show you around the seat now. So up here we've got um, reading light, literature in a bottle there, a nice little bit of mood lighting here down the back. On this side of the seat we've got USB socket, remote for the telly. And the seat that obviously reclines into the lie flat position down this side. Storage for a bottle and headphones for the entertainment. And this lifts up as the seat goes down. So as I put the seat down, you'll see that comes up. In front of me then we've got the TV. I always find the entertainment system on Qatar Airways can be a little bit glitchy. Um, like this one, you can see we're on the flight map but there's no map, it's just black. And that happens a lot, I've had that before on the 
A350 I think I've had exactly this problem so it seems to be a common thing the table release is under here and pulls the table out nice decent um, sized dinner table there under here more mood lighting and then another storage compartment So then bed in the flatbed position and it's actually really nice it's really comfy and it's proper flat as well there's no lumpy bits which is always a good bonus um, so yeah it's really nice just as comfortable as this as the bed on the Q suite the only thing that um, is a little bit frustrating is there is no sort of privacy thing here I don't know whether this is supposed to pop up or not that it's not doing so and I don't know how you do it I think it goes up and down with the seat as you put it into the life flat position but um, I certainly can't find a way of lifting that up so it's not particularly private when you're laying down um, which isn't brilliant to be honest but eh, it's okay certainly comfortable I'm going to try and um, get some kip um, it is early in the morning and I've just come off a really like, an overnight flight where I barely slept so I am hoping to get a few hours sleep before we get back to Europe anyway so I will see you later well hello I managed a couple of hours of sleep um, which I think has helped me quite a bit I woke up and the cabin crew very kindly brought me around a cup of tea and some biscuits so I'm gonna have these I'll have my breakfast in a little while I think um, because we've only got another sort of three and a half hours till we land in Manchester. I think we're just over the Black Sea at the moment. We've just left Turkey, heading towards Romania. So over the Black Sea, 40,000 feet with about three and a half hours to go. So it's been a while since I've had a look around the in-flight entertainment system on Qatar Airways. Um, it's changed quite a bit um, over the years and it's been a while since I've had a look around. So shall we have a look through it and see what it's like these days? The system's called Oryx One. So we've got here on the main menu, entertainment, kids. Let's have a look at the entertainment, see what we've got. Let's see what movies we have. Have a look at Hollywood. So loads of movies, wow, loads of collections and things. It's a massive choice of movies, isn't there? Uh, Rach and the kids would like this Harry Potter collection. What have we got? All of the Harry Potters. Brilliant. This, 1917. I've watched it twice while I've been away. It's a really good film. Highly recommend that. About two soldiers in World War One heading across the battlegrounds to deliver a message on a mission. It's really good. Really nice action film, that one. HBO Channel, they've got Chernobyl. Oh, that's a good series. You can watch all of Chernobyl Season 1. Loads of box sets and stuff. I quite like this. This is really good. Certainly one of the better IFE systems I've seen. We can read the Holy Quran if we want to. Um, let me go to your trip. Here we go. We can have a look at the flight map, which is generally... It's always working now. It wasn't working before. Oh, no, there we go. That's what it does. <laughs> It's like running flight sim on a really bad computer. Everywhere it should be green is kind of black. 
And it's weird because if you look at the big screen at the front of the cabin, it's got the same map, but it actually works over there, but over here it doesn't. So that's Horix 1. It's a really nice little system. Loads of content on there. Um, really impressed with that. I might actually sit and watch a movie since we've got a few hours until my arrival into Manchester. I settled down to watch the epic movie Dunkirk. It really is a fantastic movie in all aspects, even more so if you're an aviation geek. The flying scenes are just superb. Some food has arrived. We've got, let's have a look what we got. Breakfast omelette, full English breakfast. Ha ha. Sausage, mushrooms, tomatoes, just missing black pudding. Why don't we get black pudding on flights? It would be incredible. If you started an airline today that served nothing but black pudding for English breakfast, I would, I would fly with you all the time. The world needs more black pudding. As I pondered the black pudding conundrum and thought about a business plan for such a fantastic airline, we started our descent towards the UK. There was just something magical today about seeing Manchester appear beneath the clouds. I'd been away working in Africa for three weeks at this point and I have to admit to having a bit of a tear in my eye as England opened up beneath me and welcomed me home. here in Manchester now. 23 hours. 23 hours. Yeah. Yeah. It's not too it's bad. Be on lockdown, so it's well yeah in the hotel I guess. So. Yeah. <laughs> you too. Thank you. Bye. Yes we do. How do we need? Uh a lot. A lot. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye bye. 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 Hi, yeah, how you doing? No, I haven't, no. Nope. nope. You've got your health stretch ready? Yeah. All right for you? Yeah, no worries, thank you. Yeah, of course, thank you. All right, cheers. So back in England and Lockie has come to pick me up. Hey. Um, great trip back from Doha in Qatar with Qatar Airways. Uh, Qatar Airways, their business class product on the 787 is not too bad. I mean, it's not kind of Q-suite level good, but it's Qatar Airways and their business class is always pretty decent anyway. Let me know down in the comments below what you think to Qatar Airways business class product on the 787, whether you think it's a match for their Q-suite that I reviewed earlier on. In the meantime though, as always, thanks very much for watching, take care, and I'll see you on the next one.